Hello friends and welcome back to Wonders in Black, episode 2 of Moondog OG in Abbotsford, Melbourne. In the last episode, we took you around the brewery, had a few beers and heaps of fun. We also spoke to Dan about the history of OG. This place has a lot to offer and the beer is so tasty, we party down with the happy dance. Are you ready for episode 2? Then let's get into it. Hello friends, we're at the Moondog OG bar in Abbotsford and we have Dan to tell us a little bit about this amazing place. So, when did this place start? Uh, the original brewery, which is the building that we're in now, started in uh, 2010, 12 years ago. Amazing. And uh, it was formed by two guys, the founders of the company, which is Josh and Carl, who uh, originally both brewed in this building and lived in this building. Amazing. Over, I would live right here if I could. Over my right shoulder, originally a bedroom that those two guys started making our first beer, our Old Mate Pale Ale, and sleeping here, in between making it. Can we sleep here tonight? Uh, I'm sure you can sleep here, though that is not my jurisdiction. I like that, thank you so much. Cheers. I would love to start my own brewery. It must be so much fun. I can just imagine myself back in 2010 making beer, working on recipes, and getting up to all sorts of mischief. It would be so wild, the law would have to get involved to contain my excitement. Hmm, maybe not too wild. Let's get back to the show. Oh, I've got another question. How many liters would this place do in a year? Uh, I believe, so all of the brewing equipment that existed in this facility originally was repurposed uh, dairy equipment for, for milk, for farmers, essentially. Uh, and they, they repurposed it for making beer. And I think they had a capacity of between 300,000 and 500,000 litres, maybe a little bit more per year, uh, give or take in the original facility. Since then, we've moved to a much larger facility. What is your most favorite beer? My favorite beer here is either the Moondog Tropical Beer Can, which won two gold medals at the Indies, or it would have to be the Moondog Hazy Ale. Nice. And this is where a lot of the fun is had, I suppose. Oh, pizza. All right. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. I hear that pizza and beer go really well together. Do people do that here often? Uh, yes, if you feel like a bite to eat, Moondog has a really good selection of pizzas to choose from. Just check out the display board for what's on offer. I think most people that end up drinking here end up getting pizza here as well. If you haven't had pizza and beer together, we really recommend it. <laughs> what a great combination. I can do this all day, every day. But I was really curious about the actual process and equipment used to create these golden nectars and flavors. So I got Dan to sneak me into the back area. How do they make these legendary classics? Let's have a look, see Daisy. Hey Dan, what is this place? All right, so this is the original brewery where the company first started. Wow. What we essentially have is this tube here, grain is loaded in through here, it runs through a mill that strips the outsides off it, and what is left is fermentable sugar. I can see them shooting up right there. Grain is loaded in through here, it runs through a mill that strips the outsides off it and releases all the sugars inside, which can be turned into alcohol. That then runs into this, which is a mash tun. Inside the mash tun, the grain is mixed with water from this liquor tank over here, which turns it into a very cereal-like uh, substance, which is then pumped into this kettle, which, watch out, it's quite hot inside. In here, it becomes beer, which is then pumped out into these fermentation tanks behind us. It's left there for a few weeks, 
upon completion, you have the finished product, which is available on the taps right over there behind us. Wow, I always wondered where beer came from. This is amazing, everyone. That was a great bit of information. Thank you, Dan. So what have we learned? If you are in or near the Abbotsford area, you don't need to do anything dodgy or questionable to have a good time. Come visit the OG and have some really tasty beers, delicious pizza and there's even room for a happy dance. Thank you for watching Wanderers in Black friends, we will see you again real soon. Till the next drinks, cheers! Russell Crowe.